With Rollercoin Season 1010 being out a few weeks now, it's time to give my feedback and my opinion about the new season of what I like and don't like. Stay tuned. Okay, Rollercoin Season 10 Retro Bit, and it's been on now for a couple of days, I would say almost around two weeks now. So I think it's about time that some feedback is provided about the new season and changes that I do like and others that I don't like so much. So let's jump right into it. On my screen here, you can see Rollercoin, and this is when you actually start the game and haven't played it yet during the day. So I'm just about to collect my daily bonus here. So as we can see, day one, you get a 14 XP uh, daily bonus all the way up to day seven, where you would get a 50 XP day bonus. Uh, for, for this time, I am on day six, so that's going to be 44 XP, okay? So I'm just gonna do collect here to collect my bonus, okay? That's fine. So let's get into the new season. So I'm just going to jump into store here and I'm going to go to the season pass. Immediately, you can see the new layout of the season pass. You've got the free section, and you've also got the gold pass, where you can actually purchase for almost 100 RLT, to be exact, it's 99.99 RLT, or 99.95 RLT, I'll just call it 100 RLT anyway, um, to get the gold pass and you will have to still complete all of the daily quests that you can see on this side here in order for you to be able to gain the rewards. Now, what I do like about this is that when you actually complete one of these tasks, it will come straight to the top, okay? So if, for example, I don't know, let's see, I'll open a loot box, uh, or if I want to do like and retweet, these are the most easiest ones, okay? So join the Rollercoin Discord. I'm already on these. I'm already on the Rollercoin Discord and I'm, I've already liked and things like that. So if you just do start and close down that tab, you're immediately going to get that those points. You don't need to actually do anything, okay? So for those two that have the one XP point, you don't actually need to do anything. So I'm just going to do the retweet as well. You don't actually have to do anything. Um, I, I did do it once, so I think that's already done and that's gone as well. And these are always accumulating here. Now, something that I did not like so much about this section is that if I do one of these, let's say I do open any lucky RLT case, okay? So I'm gonna click start and I'm gonna open a loot box. At least I was a bit lucky where I did not lose anything. So I've got five, good. I spent five, I got five pretty much. I'm gonna go back now to the uh, season pass section. Here you need to be careful. In the previous season, you were automatically rewarded once you've completed the task. This time round, your completed tasks will come straight to the top, that's fine. But you have to remember to click on the claim here as well, otherwise you won't get it. So that's something that I didn't like so much. I mean, if I've done it, if I actually did the task, just reward me for it. Because if you actually forget to do this, then that's gonna be a problem. So make sure that you actually click the claim, otherwise you won't actually get those XP points, which are accumulating here. Another thing that I did not like so much are the XP points. So here you need a total of 500 XP points in order to be able to pass a level. I'm still stuck at level three at the moment, okay? Last season, it was only 300 or 350 points, I believe, not 500. So you would have gotten through the levels faster. So I'm still here stuck on level three. Um, I believe that these also have reduced. So win 10 games, for example, for today, it's Kryptonoid and Dr. Hamster. That used to be more than four XP. I believe it used to be even 11 or 12 XP. Um, so those have gone down significantly as well. And um, to win 20 games and get 10 XP, I don't know if this was the same, but I believe it was slightly higher as well. And for 50 games, it was higher as well. I believe it was more like in the 20 or 25 XP region. Um, you can also invite a user and get um, XP, but it's only 15 XP. I believe, again, before it used to be around 25 XP. So some things have changed and these are things that I didn't really like. These, I believe, should have stayed the same, 
especially given the fact that it is now 500 XP points to get through a level, so it's making it even harder. Now, as you can see here, I did purchase the gold pass, so I am eligible to be able to get both columns, okay? So I'm going through the free, and I can also, uh, once I get level one, you get the other one as well. Now, having said that about all the points and why they've increased and they've decreased on this side, you are technically getting double the rewards when you actually purchase the gold pass. But for those that don't purchase the gold pass, that is not really that fair because obviously you're just going to get one side of the column and it's still going to take you the same amount of time, okay? Now here obviously I can do get all rewards and at the moment I can get everything, all of these rewards without having to complete all of these daily quests every day for 420 RLT pretty much, okay? So if I click on get all rewards, if I had enough RLT, I could actually purchase that and not need to do anything every day and I would have double the rewards for everything and there are some that are quite significant like further down in the list there are miners that are even 640 and obviously with that there's 114 as well so you start getting into the petter hashes of of levels uh, as soon as you get down past level 20 um, so there are minus 504 plus 206 if you've got the gold pass um, if you don't, you've still got the 206, you've still, still got the 130. So it's getting um, more powerful the further down you go. Also, there are no longer 60 levels in this season. The maximum is 30 levels to get through. And you can, again, double your rewards if you've got the gold pass there. Okay, so some things to keep in mind. So 30 because the time on this event is less. I believe it started at around 77 days. It's been on for around 10 days now. At the time of recording this video, there is 67 days remaining, okay? So those are some of the things that I like with the new season pass and some of the things that I dislike, okay? If we go to the season store, you can see it's pretty much all the same here. These cost 90 RST for one battery and here are the prices for the rest. I believe these didn't change at all. Uh, these are still 40 for the parts, so those that haven't changed. There is a new high-tech case that you can actually try your luck at and maybe get the Battle of the Currents, where that will give you slightly over one petahash in power. Uh, normally, I just recommend to not do these because more often than not, you're not going to get that minor. You might get to the blue if you're lucky, maybe if you're really lucky to the purple, but I don't know, I don't really like to spend RST that way and I don't even have enough to do so at the moment. Um, there are these new miners here for this season as well. Uh, so there, it's a 10,000 RST for a Petahash Game Boy miner. That's pretty much on par with what it used to cost last season as well. But I believe it was less power, okay? I believe for 10,000 you wouldn't have gotten one Petahash. It was going to be less in the last season. Uh, I definitely remember that for 2000 RST, it was slightly less. I think it was 160 terahash. And for 5000 RST, I think it was 360. I'm not totally sure on the numbers, but I think this has sli these have slightly increased in the new season as well. And the prices of RST that you need to spend have been kept the same. So there are some good things there as well. There are going to be new loot boxes that will be coming soon as well. There's going to be more added here. So stay tuned for those because they will give you a good chance of winning even higher RLT. Um, and I had explained those in the update video for Roller Coin Season 1010 Retro Bit before it actually started. And uh, we'll await those loot boxes and see how it goes. So I believe those are the main ones. I may have missed something at the moment. I'm not remembering anything, but always remember that you need to claim. Ah, one thing that I did remember just now is that when you actually get through these levels, again, you need to actually click on the claim button. So for example, for the free pass here, you need to click claim. In the last season, it wasn't that way. When you actually reached the total number of points here, it just totally went back down to the next level, it continued to the next level, and it will automatically continue to the next level anyway. However, you will not get the rewards unless you come into this section and you actually click on the claim button, and you need to come into this section anyway because you have to click on the claim button on this side. 
It's not something that I am totally in favor of because in the last season you were automatically given the rewards. And I think that if you're actually completing the daily quest, you shouldn't have to keep remembering each time to come here and click on claim every time. I mean, if you've done it, you've done it. Be given the reward, then check your inventory, obviously, and place your miners in your racks. But Rollercoin have decided to do it this way, this time round. So just be mindful that you actually need to click that button, claim on each one, okay? Claim here, claim here, claim or you will not get those rewards. So if I've missed anything, do leave those down in the comment section below. The new electricity update will come out soon as well, and there is a final version on that, so stay tuned for that. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.